Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video about dysphoria. Now, not all dysphoria has to do necessarily with a gender identity. Some of it's just, like, part of growing up. And so I'm going to start out with those general dysphoric type things. When I was in middle school, I kind of lost all my elementary friends because they were like, oh, let's be popular, and I'm like, I'm still playing Pokemon. So <laughs> I was kind of an outcast, and not just the sort of outcast that didn't get bothered. I was the sort of outcast that got bullied pretty much daily. I was told to kill myself every day, which, looking back on it, seems pretty stupid, and I shouldn't have listened to them. But that sort of got the seeds of doubt in my brain and made me think, maybe there's something wrong with me. That and the fact that I had family members telling me that, oh, I look a certain way, so I deserve to get beat up and bullied every day. Oh, I wear black? That must mean that I'm asking to be called all these awful names. I guess all that compounded made things worse. Uh, it wasn't my family like my house family, but it was like pretty close family still, so the fact that they would say things like that was really hurtful. Um, I had maybe three friends in middle school until like the end of middle school, but those friends that I had were very instrumental in the person I am today, so I can't complain too much, I suppose. I would have people tell me that they were honestly afraid of me when they first met me, but that as they got to know me, that I was pretty cool. And so I was sitting here thinking to myself, what's so wrong with the way I look? I mean, I had glasses, I had longer hair, but I mean, I was clean. I dressed fairly normally, I thought, just a little darker. And But I guess the fact that I was bullied and self-deprecating showed through and made me seem kind of unapproachable. But yeah, that all kind of led to self-hatred and feeling like I didn't really belong anywhere, so there's my little non-trans dysphoria section. Um, dysphoria in terms of being transgender. Now, people might think that it's different but it's not all that different from what a person would feel otherwise, aside from the obvious physical. Personally, I feel like even though I'm not, like, super boobalicious or whatever, my chest is still something that I'm really dysphoric about, because I can look in the mirror and see, oh hey, I have a chest. That means that Something's not quite how my brain's saying it is. I don't know. Another one is my voice. Not necessarily because I have an awful voice, but because it just doesn't scream masculine to me, and I don't know. Um, my height is also one, but that's mostly because I have some friends that teasingly joke about it. I'm about 5'6", which isn't short necessarily, but for a guy it's not really all that tall. Um, periods. I know that's an icky, awful thing to talk about, but I feel like that is nature's monthly reminder that you were born in the wrong body, and nature is saying, F you. That is how it feels to me as being trans. <laughs> and finally, I know weight issues are a controversial thing, but being skinny as a guy and being 5'6", like a combination of those two things, makes it really hard for people to take me seriously. It's like I'm that awkward, scrawny guy, and I'm okay with that. But it also makes people, I've literally been told, oh, you're a pretty boy, and by cashiers and stuff. And it's like, that's great, but 
I kind of just want to be treated normally. Anyway, we're coming on five and a half minutes, so I'm going to end this video. If you have any ideas for another topic or anything you want me to expand on, just message me or comment below. Thanks!